All right, we're talking betting strategy for Friday's Kentucky Oaks. I think we're going to make some good money betting this race. I love the number three horse, Hidden Connection, who's 20 to 1 morning line. Hidden Connection has proven over this track. In just the second start of her career, Hidden Connection won the Pocahontas at Churchill Downs, going a mile and a 16th. She did it decisively, winning by almost 10 lengths. was very, very impressive in victory. And here's video of that Pocahontas. She's the number nine. Watch this performance. ...for the far turn, stalked intently by Hidden Connection, who prompts this pace past the half-mile pole. Majestic Doro has moved up to be third. On the ones and twos toward the inside, racing fourth. Miss Chimita sent on for speed with a wide sweep from fifth. Goddess of Fire under a heavy drive racing six. Mama Rina, seventh code for success, moves up into eighth. Maxine Machine and at the back is knees and hips as they round the far turn. Hidden Connection has taken the lead as they come for the top of the stretch. The Muse checked out of it. Majestic Doro's right there second on the ones and twos. Pops outside from third. Goddess of Fire, fourth code for success is fifth. And down inside is Mama Rina. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Hidden Connection shaken up to a three length lead. And now it's four. Majestic Doro's trying hard. Mama Rina toward the inside. Got Goddess of Fire's late in the scene on the ones and twos behind that, but they are all chasing Hidden Connection. Hidden Connection streaking through the stretch to win the Pocahontas by eight lengths on the wire. Mama Rina was sent. All right, now we're going to watch the Fairgrounds Oaks. This was Hidden Connection's last start. In post position number one is champion two-year-old filly Echo Zulu. Post six is Hidden Connection. You're going to see Echo Zulu have everything her own way on a loose and uncontested lead. Meanwhile, Hidden Connection gets caught wide throughout and runs on nice, just missing at the wire. They're off on the Transpires.com, Fairground Zokes, and Echo Zulu broke smooth for Joel Rosario. There's Echo Zulu with Turner Loose and Hidden Connection strides up on the outside. Favor, Sequest in the black cap. And Berna Breezy has dropped back to last. They have seven furlongs to run. And it's Echo Zulu. So the champion leads these three old fillies to the back of the track. Echo Zulu out in front. Leads Turner Loose with just over six furlongs to run from here. Echo Zulu, Turner Loose with on the outside hitting connection as Favor looks to gain toward the inside. Making this back stretch run. Sequest is running second to last. And Berna Breezy trails the sextet, the leader Echo Zulu. Her quarter was 23. Point seventy nine seconds, Echo Zulu doing this easily out in front, tracked by Turner Loose. With favor right there at Echo Zulu's heels, hidden connection, fourth on the outside. They have a half mile to run. Then it's Sequest, who's six lengths off the lead, and the lead still remains Echo Zulu's as they enter the far turn. Burner Breezy remains last. Half mile, forty seven point sixty eight seconds. It's Echo Zulu, three quarters length. Turner Loose still looking to get up here to Echo Zulu. With Hidden Connection on the outside, launching her bid. It's Echo Zulu, who leads for the quarter pole. Favor Sequest end. Burner Breezy is last. It's Echo Zulu after three quarters and one minute 11. Point 70 seconds. Echo Zulu charging Hidden Connection. Favor toward the inside as Turner Loose has dropped back. There's one for long to go. It's Echo Zulu who leads against the inside for Joel Rosario. Hidden Connection trying hard on the outside. Favors third. They're close to home. It's Echo Zulu. Hidden Connection on the outside. Echo Zulu and Hidden Connection. Photo finish in the Fairgrounds Oaks. A nose between Echo Zulu looking to remain. All right, there's how close Hidden Connection came of defeating Echo Zulu at a mile and the 16th. That's one jump after the wire, and you can see that uh, Hidden Connection's got the nose in front at that point. And she did all that after having to go much wider on both turns as Echo Zulu got no pressure. That extra 16th of a mile, make no mistake about it, that extra 16th is in the favor of Hidden Connection, who's a daughter of Connect out of an awesome again mare, uh, just top and bottom. Hidden Connection's got a, a just a mile and an eighth, mile and a quarter type pedigree. It's one of those pedigrees where the longer, the better. So our betting strategy for the Oaks, not only are we going to bet the three Hidden Connection to win, uh, but there's three rock solid horses to use in the exotics with her. It's the number one, Secret Oath. The number four, Nest. The number 10, Kathleen O.
There it is right there. Key the three hidden connection with the 1410. We'll take a look at Secret Oath, Nest, and Kathleen O. And I'm just going to show you why I think they're obvious factors and they're horses that you must use in exotics with hidden connection. We'll start with Secret Oath. Now, Secret Oath was actually the 6-5 to five favorite against the Colts in the Arkansas Derby. And you watch the replay of this race. She had all kinds of excuses. You see her there, beautiful-looking, uh, arrogant filly, trained by D. Wayne Lucas. But she was 6-5 to five against the Colts in this Arkansas Derby. And I'm going to show you the excuses that she had. She's 6-1 to one morning line in the Kentucky Oaks. So, I mean, there's – you watch this, you'll see why you got to use Secret Oath. All right, there's the start of the Arkansas Derby. You're going to watch a squeeze right there. Secret Oath is going to get squeezed a little. Uh, nothing major, but that definitely uh, was not what you wanted to see if you better this day. All right, now you pick uh, Secret Oath up. She's the number six horse here. She's about four wide through the first turn, and the seven's going to come up outside of her and put pressure on her. She's going to end up getting shuffled back to last. And then Louis Contreras is going to push the button on her, and she's going to unleash a devastating move. Right here's the shuffle. You see the blue silks of Secret Oath? You can see it right here, probably better on the on the bottom half of the screen. But, okay, so now she's shuffled back to last. Contreras is going to push the button decisively here, and watch this move. Now watch this wide-sweeping move that Secret Oath makes. I mean, this is against the boys in the Arkansas Derby. She's just catapulting past all these horses, and she went from last to third in an instant. Right now, she looks like she might win, but that's a tough move to sustain. you got to be a real special horse to sustain that against your own sex, uh, you know, let alone a filly taking on boys. Uh, she's going to grind away here. Looks like she's going to finish second, but uh, the horse of John Ortiz comes inside and nails her for second. So this is a big performance by Secret Oath. And now in the Kentucky Oaks, she gets a key rider change. Louis Saez is going to take them out from Contreras. So you got to use Secret Oath. All right, the next horse we're going to look at who is a must-use in exotics in the Kentucky Oaks. This is Nest, the Todd Pletcher train Nest, breaking from post position number four. Watch her victory in the Ashland. This was a very impressive performance. And they're off in the Central Bank Ashland. There goes Interstate Daydream as expected from the inside and Happy Soul from the outside and Awake at Midnight is away running in third between that pair as they head down to the first turn. Interstate Daydream against the rail will have the early lead. Happy Soul goes second just off her flank around the first turn. Then a break of two lengths back to Awake at Midnight who's toward the inside third by a length. Nest is a lane off the rail in the fourth position. Miss Maddie B fifth back toward the inside. Cocktail Moments travels in the sixth position off the first First turn. Sterling Silver is seventh and a long way back to Heavenly Hellos, who is last. Opening quarter went in 24.24 seconds. Up the back stretch in the Central Bank Ashland here at Keeneland, the lead battle continues. And it is still Interstate Daydream to the inside and Happy Soul on the outside. And that pair is separated by a half length. Now Awake at Midnight is taking aim from third, moving up a closer third. Now to join the front pair and Nest is going to go with her. The front four start to form up in a line after a 48.82 second opening half mile. Happy Soul is right alongside of Interstate Daydream, who still has the lead by a neck around the far turn. Nest is going to be four wide. Awake at midnight is three lanes off the rail. Here's Nest circling up to the far outside to challenge Interstate Daydream with a quarter mile to go to the top of the short stretch. Nest, Interstate Daydream going at it for the lead as they come toward the final furlong. Awake at midnight is in third. Nest is the leader. Nest has the lead by three, by four lengths clear. Clear in the Central Bank Ashland Stakes. The battle is all for second. Cocktail Moments is running after Interstate Daydream for the runner-up spot. But Nest, much the best here with Irad Ortiz Jr. aboard. All right, that was Nest. And this is Kathleen O, the number seven in the Gulfstream Park Oaks. You're going to see her win from off the pace. This was the kind of race on paper where it looked like a two-horse race. The five Empress of Fire uh, was the only other horse who really, you know, looked like a, a proper graded stakes type filly. 
Uh, Kathleen O, the seven, they both come from off the pace. Uh, very impressive performance by Kathleen O. That's why we're going to use her on our tickets. I'll let you watch. With the advantage, it's cancel this. Here's Goddess of Fire making her bid. Kathleen O warming to the task and doing so very nicely. And here's the matchup. Goddess of Fire gets first run on Kathleen O and they begin to sprint past the 5 sixteenths. That's all for cancel this. Then blustery as they run to the top of the stretch. Goddess of Fire driven hard but holding command. Kathleen O needs to get another rally going five ahead of the rest. Three quarters, 112 and two. They make their way to the top of the stretch in the Gulfstream Oaks. And now Kathleen O shifts gears, and she's up to take the lead. Goddess of Fire has done everything she can, but she can't stay with Kathleen O, who's on her way to Louisville for the run for the lilies. Kathleen O, the Gulfstream Park Oaks winner by two and a half lengths. Goddess of Fire was second. All right, so there you have it. We're making money with Hidden Connection. The three that we got to use with her, the number one, Secret Oath, the number four, Nest, the number 10, Kathleen O, uh, but we hope it's Hidden Connection who wins the Kentucky Oaks.